So for hero powers, for every other class, we have different hero powers, of course, which I'll be showing shortly. If you want to create a deck, it's simply as that. Just go on and click on new deck. Once you finish all of your quests, all of the starter quests, all, of course, you'll have access to core decks of each and every class. I'll be going through some of the classes and the core or basic decks you can create for yourself right off the starts right after you of course complete all of your starter quests for demon hunter we have Illidan storm range if you are familiar with Illidan, he is just an amazing character a very important figure for uh, warcraft universe of course if you know a few things about warcraft universe two most popular figures will be lich king arthas and Illidan Storm Rage, uh, which will be, uh, well, they are two main figures of the Warcraft universe. Very important ca characters. For Illidan, I really like Illidan. We had opportunity to to uh, meet with him again uh, in the recent expansion not a recent i think uh, it was released almost four years ago which was called legion of with legion ilden storm rage had a comeback uh, and then i don't want to spoil it of course if you want to know more about the lore of warcraft universe and uh world of warcraft of course you can just go online uh, i'll be leaving some links so you can just check them out if you're interested in uh, more warcraft lord Elden storm mage uh, he's an elf a very talented elf he's the brother of uh Dreed hero uh, that we normally have unfortunately have a skin right now so you won't be able to uh, see him but let me just show you of course malfurion storm rage they are brothers with illidan and um illidan just goes uh, crazy on uh, power there is demons coming from out land trying to invade azeroth with their demonic power uh, they also offer a great power to mortals like elves humans etc uh, etc et but it is so easy to get corrupted with fell power this is what we call uh, fell which is f-e-l fell power illidan has that fell power going right now he is part demon part elf amazing character as druid normally like i said we have malfurion but I have a skin for Lunara. Oh, by, by the way, let me just uh, go back quickly and tell about his hero power. This is the only one mana hero power that we have. It is called Dim Close. Plus one attack this turn. Then you can just attack with your hero and uh, try to just attack to face or trying to kill some minions. Or you can just combo this uh, attack even higher. But playing some other games, Illidan usually has. Uh, so let's check the Illidan's or uh, Dimi Hunter's basic deck, right? So Battlefield, one mana after your hero attacks and bear in mind since your hero power is one mana gain one attack it is pretty easy to uh, to be able to attack with demon hunter with your hero so it says after your hero attacks gain plus one attack when you play this card on the first turn if you have coin you can just coin play this minion use your hero power attack to face and then this uh, minion will be two attack two health which will get a ramped over the attack you complete by uh, by using your hero so every turn uh, possibly this will get a plus one plus one attack which uh, is uh, creating a huge huge uh, potential uh, for itself and it will be of course pretty useful card to use early on to uh, be either you know more aggressive or just to be able to trade off with enemy minions which will have of course a decent attack two or three let's say on the second turn you'll be able to trade into most uh, three mana or four mana cost cards so yeah uh, i was talking about how illidan can gain plus two attack we can see that uh, right here as well chaos strike give your hero plus two attack this turn throw a card so you can you can just play uh, this deck uh, right off the start after you complete your beginners quest uh, i can't emphasize this enough because uh, Sometimes uh, when people want to start Hearthstone, they just think, okay, it's impossible to get uh, that much card. But they definitely made it really easier. You guys have it easier at this moment than we, what we had during the launch period because we didn't have any free cards except the, the very, very basic and uh, bad cards uh, back in the uh, classic days, when he let days uh, as they call it uh nowadays you can just have a decent deck going which has two legendaries so you can just do that what this deck is i think it's um, more like a mid-range deck right now so you will try to build your uh deck 
around uh, early course cards, try to build aggression going. If you can kill your opponents as soon as possible, that is that is brilliant. If you can't, if the opponent can come up with some assets, you can just carry the game forward. But generally, this is very uh, aggressive that you will be looking forward to uh, just attack the hero as much as possible and kill the opponent as quick as possible. Uh, so that's Demon Hunter for Druid. We have Shapeshift. Uh, I'll be quickly going over the core cards of uh, Druid as well. So as you can see, you will have core Druid, uh, 30, 30 cards. You can just uh, have this deck right away. So uh, generally, uh, Druid, well, it is uh, pretty much similar to what we had in uh, classic days. This is very old deck. We'll look to use Wild Growth early in the game and gain more Mana Crystal. So uh, like I said before, every time uh, a turn passes you'll gain one mana crystal but you can also you know uh, ramp that up by using wild growth for example gain an empty mana crystal so instead of gaining one mana crystal uh, like usual you will be gaining two mana crystal so perfect so you'll be uh, try to ramp it up uh, ramp your mana up and try to play huge cards which will render your opponent helpless and uh, you'll just try to dominate the game uh, later in the late game so that is what droid is uh, as you can see where is the hero power hero power is plus one attack plus one armor it is pretty similar to uh, demon hunters but it's two mana like i said before demon hunter is the only one mana cost a hero power that we have in hearthstone so this two mana plus one attack but uh with plus one armor which can be used instead of your health so it will work as a health armor will be uh, will be working as a as a health uh, extra health hunter uh deal two damage to enemy minion uh so due to its nature and its hero power hunter decks are mostly aggra aggressive decks and uh, mostly hunter decks uh, you'll be seeing will be aggressive again uh, of course there will be some controls but they're just so experimental uh the meta that we have for Hunter uh, for a long time now has been aggressive and uh, it's been dominating Hunter meta for, for a very long time now. Uh, of course, uh, now and then uh, there will be some uh, decent control decks, but in my opinion, aggressive, being aggressive uh, because that deal two damage to a hero is just an amazing tool to just, uh, you know, keep poking your opponent uh, for two damage, two damage every turn. So in, in after five turns, you, you will end up dealing 10 damage without even doing anything, just uh, you know just spamming your hero power that's why it's uh, uh it's good when it's mixed with aggro decks so yeah as you can see this is more like an um beast deck if i'm right yeah it looks like more like a beast deck but a simple hunter deck it's pretty good uh, if you want to climb up the ladder uh in the ranked system it is better to come up with some cheap hunter decks like this one uh, you can more uh, find more on the web page that i showed before so moving on uh, by the way for rexar for uh, lower uh, freaks out there rexar of course is a half ogre half orc and he is being one of the pivotal characters for the horde and he is uh, one of the most famous characters that we have from horde and uh, played a huge role for uh, creation of Orgrimmar, which is the capital of the Horde nowadays. So yeah, uh, enough about that. For Mage, we have Jaina, of course. Jaina is again, she is pretty popular. She has been ever since the uh, since she is one of the closest characters to Arthas. And again, Arthas is uh, one of the most famous characters that we have in Warcraft universe. So it is only uh, makes sense Jaina to be famous as well. And uh, I think they they were more like a, a they had a crush uh, on each other, but it uh, well Arthas died before it became official. So Jaina was like a girlfriend of uh, Arthas. You can definitely say that they were of course uh, pretty close since uh, they youth. Again, for lore freaks out there, but for Mage, uh, of course, as you can expect, you will look to play more uh, spells and minions that's built around spells of course there's some other uh, archetypes that that i have for example mech mage mech mage is a deck which will have minions mostly mech minions which will be comboing each other pretty great you'll be seeing that deck later on but yeah uh, this is the basic mage deck and the hero power is of course um oh, and fire blast 
again it is a skill from warcraft deal one damage you can deal one damage to any uh, target you want you can ping uh, it's called ping when you d d deal one damage on a uh, hearthstone it's called pinging uh, so you can ping with fire blast uh, pay, pays two mana cost to deal one damage to anything simple as that paladin we have lady liadrin i have no idea sh who she is but i think uh, she looks like a blood elf normally uh, this is also a skin uh, that I, I i think i earned it i didn't buy it but i'm not sure normally we have uther which is the of course uther as you can see here I i'm will pretty sure we will have <laughs> leader of the nice of uh, nice of the silver hand which is of course again arthas was one of the nice of the silver hand and uther was his uh well okay well he was his mentor so uther had Arthas uh, under his wing uh, ever since he was uh, a child but unfortunately uh, as you may know uh, Arthas ended up killing uh, Uther and then he also trapped his soul into his blade which, which is called uh, Shadow, Shadowmourne is it? Shadowmourne? Shadowmourne hung yeah it's, it's called Shadowmourne so yeah Uther, I love him as well. As a Paladin character, we have Uther. The hero power is uh, summon 1-1 one, one silver hand recruit. So mostly Paladin will try to control the board by playing minions and uh, buffing them up because uh, Paladin also has lots of uh, buff spells. Uh, as you can see here, most of they have a minions which has Divine Shield. What is Divine Shield? The first damage any minions uh, that has Divine Shield will negate the first damage they receive, so they won't take any damage if they have Divine Shield for just uh, just once. Uh, then they will just uh, lose the Divine Shield. But you can just add your minions Divine Shield by using uh, cards like this, which is called Argent Protector. Give your friendly minion Divine Shield. So yeah, <laughs> that's uh, enough about Paladin. Uh, priest, uh, priests are, I think, one of one of the most annoying uh, classes to play against because uh, generally it is opposite of hunter. Uh, hunters are generally aggressive. If you see priest, you will know that opponent will play a control deck, and they will look forward to use their uh, amazing, amazing uh, board clear spells and carry the game into the late game. So yeah, that's uh, that's priest. Uh, the sorry, um, let me just go back again. Priest hero power is restore to health. That's it. You can target any anything, your minion, your hero, uh, enemy hero, anything. So priest, I think we have again. Uh, yeah, it's more spell and uh, minion oriented around troll. Uh, so with light bomb, for example, deal damage to each minion equal to his attack for us so when you play this for example came blood hoof right here will die because its attack is equal to his health and since it will uh, receive uh, damage equal to his attack he will die priest is uh, pretty annoying to play against like i said and here he comes captain valera of course this is a skin Norm normally she is called uh, just valera a famous assassin in warcraft universe i think she's uh, a blood elf oh, definitely my favorite class right here um rogues are uh, definitely uh, more well most famous archetype that we have we have been having for uh, rogue has been either aggressive i don't like aggressive decks so I i've been playing with tempo decks uh, what is a tempo deck so you just look when when you're playing as a tempo deck, you will look to spending all of your mana and uh, just keep the momentum going. Spend your mana, play mana efficient cards, and get some discounts. For example, using uh, prep. For example, this is called what we call uh, preparation prep. Uh, when you use this, the next spell you cast this turn costs two less. So uh, when you play this, for example, for zero mana, you can just play cold blood, for example, for zero mana cost nothing uh, so uh, there is also a keyword for the rogue class which is combo let me see if we have anything so combo uh, what is combo you need to play at least one card before playing this card 
so you can activate this combo. So you, you just need to play another card before playing this card to activate this combo. If you don't want to choose to activate this combo, you can just play as this, uh, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. That is also okay uh, in some uh, scenarios, so that's alright as well. The rogue hero power is dagger mastery, uh, equip a 1-2 dagger. Uh, what is a 1-2 dagger? 1 is its attack value, 2 is its durability, so you can attack it twice with it before it breaks down and you'll need to create a new one. That's it. Shaman. Uh, of course, as a shaman, we have Thrall for the Horde, uh, for the Horde freaks out there. Of course, he is the founder of the Horde, um, son of Orgrimmar, huge, huge character. Uh, Thrall took uh, the, their people, orcs, from the Outlands, carried them into Azeroth, found them a ho home in Kalimdor, and where they are residing at the moment in Orgrimmar. He's been long, long time uh, leader of the Horde. Uh, then he decided to quit to focus his fight against Deathwing and try to help the balance of Azeroth with his legendary shamanic skills, of course. That's enough about the lore. As a shaman, you have totemic call, summon a random totem. Uh, there will be uh, several types of different totems. I think there is uh, four, no, three in total. Uh, I'll be leaving the pictures of each and every one of them right here at this moment. So moving on, as a troll, uh, it is more like um, you will you will be looking to place some. Um, uh, minions as well as spells. So when you see a shaman, it's uh, either going to be a combo deck, a control deck. So it can be anything actually. Shamans sometimes shine uh, with with aggressive decks, but lately, from what I know at least, they've been shining with battle cry oriented decks, which was a uh, combo deck. So there was a card uh, I don't remember what it's called. So I'll be leaving again uh, the picture right here. When you play that card, it will repeat all of the battle cries you played that game. So that's a combo deck you will be looking for to play lots of battle cries and play that final card to just exhaust your opponent and you can just create a copy of it and just keep on playing the same thing and it will just repeat all of the battle cries you've played already so it's just one endless chaos until one of the hero dies <laughs> so yeah um that shaman warlock of course as a warlock we have gul'dan another orc with uh, when we were talking about fell power with demon hunter but I was talking about how he has that green power fell with th that demonic power sometimes you can just fold a prisoner of that power and Gul'dan is exactly like that he unfortunately lost his mind let's say uh, obsessed with power was working with burning legion and he betrayed his own people orcs and the horde uh, repeatedly and he was brought back alive uh, and lots of different things happened. Again, if you want to know more about Warcraft universe, uh, you can just do so by searching for it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, our hero power is throw a card and take two damage. Uh, so pretty straightforward. You'll be drawing a card, but your hero will take two damage. So if you use this hero at the start of second turn, your hero will be going down to 28 HP. And you'll draw a card. Basically, like that. Mostly warlocks are control deck. This one is, I think this is a death rattle deck. But uh, oh, this is a pretty bad deck, actually. So, okay. So, the most famous archetype that we had for warlock for many, many years was what uh, was called Zoo Lock. So, Zoo Lock has lots of minions, lots of low cost minions that will be just looking forward to uh, dominate the board and keep control of the board until the hero dies. So aggressive deck, uh, definitely aggressive deck, uh, but it was called Zoo. I don't know why. We have a Zoo deck here. Right now, this is not a, a famous archetype for Warlock, uh, but it's definitely a great uh, starter deck. It is an aggressive deck. You'll like this. So it's not definitely not bad, but there is uh, definitely much, much better great decks out there for Warlock. Warrior, uh, we have Garrosh. I have a skin on Garrosh right now. Garrosh was the previous leader of, of the Horde. He succeeded Thrall as the chief 
of the whole where he again lost himself into the power of Yasharaj, uh, a old god, dominated Garrosh's mind and you know forced him to do his bidding uh, and at the end Garrosh uh, was killed by Thrall, um, unfortunately because they were uh, close friends, Thrall had Garrosh as the his protege for uh, many many years, foresaw him to be a uh, chief of the horde unfortunately uh, another uh, dramatic ending for a decent character again garrosh is very famous in warcraft universe his hero power is oh, i always do that why do i do that armor up gain two armor that's it and uh, like i said before armor uh, is essentially exactly the same with health you can use that armor as a tool, as a as a resource. Uh, for example, let's say with shield slam, uh, deal one damage to enemy mini for each armor you have. So not enemy mini, enemy for each armor you have. For, so for example, let's say you use your armor up, your hero power, which will cost two mana. Then you can just play this instantly, just with ma one mana, which will deal two damage since you have two armor. But if if you have ten armor, of course this will be dealing ten damage with uh, warriors. Uh, you generally will have uh, control decks, uh, but nowadays, unfortunately, as you previously seen, we have uh, a deck which is dominating meta for uh, quite a long time, and if, <laughs> I think it's been dominating the meta for two years now. Unfortunately, I'm talking about Pirate Warrior. <sighs> Pirate Warrior. Every time I say the word, I have the PTSD flashbacks. It's just a dominating, dominating deck. What it does, you play quest. Quest is pretty simple to complete. You will play pirates. Uh, again, it's like mechs, a different tribe. You will play pirates, complete your quest in five turns, then have a huge, huge power boost. And uh, at the end, when you complete the quest, you get a 7-7, seven, seven, uh, 5 mana minion, which will cause the Juggernaut. What is Juggernaut? Juggernaut is untargetable, let's say, minion, but you can't attack it, you can't do anything about it. It, it will be there forever. And But every turn, it will deal uh, 2 damage to ra 2 random enemies, and it will uh, summon a uh, random pirate, and I think it will uh, give the hero a random weapon, if I remember correctly very very strong deck unfortunately it's been dominating the meta forever now that's it that's the warrior so we already covered the most of basic stuff I, I believe I think we are definitely ready to play some games now I, I've been talking uh, since forever now right I'll be playing my Reno deck this is the deck uh, that I came up with uh, myself so what it is I will just have a single copy of every card so I can use Reno Jackson's special power battle cry if your deck has no duplicates so just a single copy of every card fully heal your hero let's say if i'm at 2 hp 2 health will heal me back to 30 so it's an amazing uh, amazing card of course this is a card you will want to use with control deck and this is what it is uh, this is a control deck build to run but well, it's not actually a control deck i'll be honest sometimes you can be pretty aggressive with it because it has lots of pirates so pirates are essentially they most of them are a uh, very aggressive aggressive uh, card but i love the stack i definitely love the stack i think i yeah i want to edit this out so uh, there are some conditions like we have reno uh, with kazakus we have the same kind of condition as well so it says if your deck has no four coast cards build a custom golem so unfortunately we have another four coast mana card here so i'll be just removing that and adding something instead of that i can just uh add Edwin. that's that's pretty good oh that's four mana as well am i idiot or something that's four mana mm. do we have ashram vessel we have uh bootstrap we already have that Blood in the water, we already have that. Let me think, let me think. Of course, there's a filter you can use, which I'm using right now. It's gonna type a pirate and press enter. It will come up with a different pirate that I have. We already have Fog Sail Freebooter, don't I? I? I do, yeah. Um, We already have the other. Oh, I don't, I don't have this one, Tusker Traveler. So yeah, Tusker, get in there. Not bad. 